Europe is, for us, the obvious market. America's far away and it doesn't make the best amount of sense, but it has to be done. Flower and White is a factory in Telford, that part of England that no one's sure if it's the Midlands or the North. They make meringues, up to a million of them a day, and they're sold in Selfridges, at Wimbledon, and on Virgin Transatlantic flights, but not Europe. Post-Brexit, the company has made the decision not to go for the European market, which is interesting, given the origin of their product. Meet Leanne Crowther. She built this business from scratch with her husband. It's been supremely difficult because we love Europe and we feel European, but we just can't risk um, the uncertainty and the, the unknown. More of that later, but let's start with a tour of the factory. Is this what I have to wear? Wonderful. As we walk around? Excellent, yes. <laughs> and I'm not sure what they're working on today. Morning, Liam. Morning, Addy. Hiya. So, this is our goods in area, consolidated area. The meringues that you get in the supermarket tend to use a powdered dried egg, mm -hmm. so they reconstitute it, um, which gives you that dusty feel when yeah. you bite into the shells and the nests that you get. Um, but we use fresh egg, and it gives it's a bit more melt in your mouth. It's like you'd make at home. It's like, God, so naughty. But it's good. So like foamy. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to think about what's going on in my mouth. It's mad, now. isn't it? Yeah, it's, I've never taken. I've never had meringue at that sort of, that sort of stage, that stage before. So that's like pavlova in a way. It's the centre of a pavlova. So sweet, so soft, it's like aerated yeah. almost. That's my sweet tooth sorted. But let's talk politics. Why is this business avoiding Europe? I don't think we can hide from the fact of what's been going on for the last three years. And uh, very quickly, we decided that with all the uncertainty around what lay ahead, um, we had to look at other opportunities. It's been supremely difficult because we love Europe and we feel European but we just can't risk um, the uncertainty and the, the unknown of what's coming and how the land will lie. I'm trying to figure out whether Brexit has been a positive or a negative thing for you because you've got because by virtue of saying saying no to Europe and mm. taking yourself away from the European market mm. Mm. you found great success yeah you're growing into the US and that, yeah. that presumably is a good thing yes but how do you view it? Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing that you made that decision? I, I think it's, a, it's necessary for us to grow. Europe is, for us, the obvious market. It's a big market. It's on our doorstep. From the sustainability piece that's really important to us as a business, uh, the air miles are less. It's much more accessible when we're flying to do business and have meetings and source ingredients, whatever it might be. Um, America's far away and um, it's, it doesn't make the best amount of sense, but it has to be done. And I don't know how you guys have felt, but certainly during this process, I've gone through lots of different emotions individually and thinking about the future of, will my children be able to just freely move within Europe? Gosh, we've had such a luxury that we've not really mm. even considered. There's been frustration, there's been anger, there's been sadness. And the day of the, the 31st of January, I felt genuinely sad. It's a difficult time for us. And I think we won't really know the, the outcome of this for another 10 to 15 years, and that's difficult. I have one final question for you. Yes. And it's, is Telford in the north or in the Midlands? Oh, definitely Midlands. Yeah? Okay. Def but it's north of Watford, <laughs> yeah, therefore exactly. for you Londoners, it's north. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Leanne. Cheers. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you.